Hi friends, today we are with the Vivo U20 and in this video we will talk about the best features what U20 has to offer. Going through the design first, it has a power and volume rocker at the back, you are getting a triple camera setup with LED flash, fingerprint sensor, plastic body and if we go to the bottom side, we are getting a 3.5mm jack, micro USB charging slot and the speaker grills. If we go to the other side, there is SIM card slot. I will show you the SIM card slot and here we are getting a triple slot which includes dual nano sim card slot and one micro sd card slot definitely it is a great thing for the user and we are getting a 6.53 inch full hd plus display with a notch which is a 16 megapixel camera mounted in that side now come back to the features what we are getting first we will start with the device coming with the dark mode the device is running on android 9.0 with fun touch os and here you can see there is a dark mode it is a forced dark mode so you will basically get dark mode in all the apps if we talk about the first feature uh, the dynamics and dynamic effect is the main one the dynamic effect starts with the animation changes here we will start with the home screen in which the icons can be changed and configured according to the layout you can apply them and change which, whichever you like now going back, there is one more thing, facial recognition animation. Here you can see, while the face has been recognized, this animation can be uh, applied. So there are three or four options given to you, whichever you want to choose, you can go ahead. I haven't registered the face yet. I will show you the face unlock later on. If we talk about the charging animation, you are getting a four charging different animation skins. Definitely this is much more customization given to you if we talk about the juvi let's start with the smart camera so what does it does there is a portrait mode you have to go to the smart camera here you can see a small bubble and once you tap inside the bubble you can see uh, ultra wide angle mode bokeh mode and super macro mode so you can switch the modes between that there is one more thing given it is the ai portrait framing so when you are taking the selfies or pictures it will do the ai portrait very well coming to the second option image recognizer this is basically google lens and last is smart scene what is the smart scene will do it will do the movie calendars take out your contact best app shortcut what you use news feeds everything will be there it is just kind of a google calendar you are getting it will use the data from your device only even the flight ticket train ticket those will also pop up now going to the face and the fingerprint so let's start with the fingerprint sensor i haven't enrolled it yet so i will enroll it right now for you guys and so that you guys can check it out how does the fingerprint sensor works here and the fingerprint sensor definitely enrolls and recognizes your fingerprints very easily you can enroll multiple fingerprints now coming to the face unlock for the face unlock you have to go inside you have to put the pattern on the password what you have set for it go to the unlock then it will ask you just put ok here you can see it will take less than 15 seconds or 20 seconds to register you must have a complete good light there is also screen fill light you should on there is the animation styles what i have already showed you and if you want to clear the face data you can do that screen fill light will basically work when you are in a low light situations and uh, there are a few more things and uh, later on if you go there is a ultra game mode this is one of the most important features so uh, we have already made a gaming video you guys can check it out you can add more games in it but other than that, what are the main features what it will include? It has a game assistant, it will stop the background calls, background notification. There is the eSports mode, which will close the background app and also the smart performance will be there. The heating will be controlled. It will also reject the calls, notifications. It will basically increase your performance while playing the game. There is a motorbike mode. So if you are driving a motorbike, you can switch on this mode. It will reject all the calls and uh, all will be in the notification and later on you will get the message uh, there is another feature which is a digital well-being and the parental control so this is a good thing how much time you have spent on each app you can track that also and at the same time you can lock some apps which you don't want your kids to check it out here you can see the face unlock works very smoothly it is definitely one of the fastest work i have seen if we go to the jovi smart scene here you can see the upcoming movies and other things i have already shown you and told you about this now let's talk about the notification center the notification center definitely looks a little bit cluttered 
but we can sort it out you can hide this here you can see uh, shortcut center can be hide and if you want to change the order just tap on it and you can change them uh, to top to a bottom you can have four six or five number two also at the same time so you can change the order you can place them and you can have eight here you can see you can have a very long list these are kind of a shortcut for the apps you require and need so i'm not getting into the detail much but this is one kind of shortcut you can change them and uh, this is also a great thing you can customize your notification panel whatever your shortcuts you like but here you can see few more things are given but this is a completely a long list what are the things you need you can customize them also shortcut for the bluetooth battery power saver brightness night mode everything is there so you can definitely play it around now the last thing is the camera talking about the triple camera at the back it is a ai triple camera where we are getting 16 megapixel primary lens 8 megapixel super wide angle lens and 2 megapixel macro lens if we talk about the front camera the front camera is a 16 megapixel camera coming to the video shoot the cameras can shoot 4k video full hd video and hd video in 30 fps where you can see how much storage it will take for shooting those videos you get few modes if you come to the front let's go to the front camera video recording you can shoot full hd video hd video and 480p video all in 30 fps if we talk about the ui definitely vivo has seen the ui of the camera mode and looks pretty much new and a little more classy we have zoom here you can see 1x 2x we can go that there are some filters which you can play it around you can also have the flash if you want it you can switch it off if you go to the mode there are few modes coming to the phone which have a pano live live photo slow mo time lapse pro mode ar stickers jovi and dog these are the few things if you talk about the jovi it will take you to the image scanner it is kind of a google lens and also there's a dock where you can scan the papers or important documents at the same time so these are the uh, modes you are getting and you can edit them edit them means that you can drag them and bring to the home screen you have a night and portrait mode which can be changed here you can see i have just put the pro mode and the pro mode is in the home screen which is definitely very easy so the modes which you use more frequently you can change them the night mode the portrait mode photo mode video mode these are the few modes coming it has a sdr present also if you go to the settings you can change the ai you can have the ai portrait framing which we have seen earlier in this in jovi you also have a shutter sound if you want you can change the watermark you can have the geographic location grids and much more we will not talk about them in detail right now and this is the pro mode just a quick look but uh, skipping that part this is all about the hidden features tips and tricks you are getting with the vivo u20 this is Brevin signing off. Please like the video, share the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for us.